Today, we are going to take a look at the security cameras we use in the RV, as well as all the features they provide. We're also going to look into the details of how we can view the cameras remotely from our phone. I'll keep driving down this open road. Destination everywhere. Our main system is the AHD 10 841B from Night Owl. I looked at a lot of different brands and models of cameras and at the time I was researching security systems this one provided the features I was looking for at a very reasonable cost. I'm not sure Night Owl even offers this particular model any longer but they seem to have similar new models available on their website. The Night Owl system we purchased is a full HD video and audio system and included an 8 channel 1080p HD DVR with a 1 terabyte hard drive four indoor-outdoor 1080p cameras with a 100 degree viewing angle with night vision up to 100 feet as well as all the cables and mounting hardware. We also use a D-Link DCS 5222LB indoor only HD pan and tilt Wi-Fi camera which I will cover in more detail shortly. My plan was basically to have full coverage of the RV exterior by mounting a camera on the front, back, and both sides of the RV. The installation was pretty easy, although with the wired system I had to drill holes and run the cables from the cameras to the DVR. They do offer wireless systems as well, which would eliminate the need of running the B and C cables in your RV, although you would still need to run power to each camera. The DVR has an HDMI output that I have connected to our TV. With this I can view the cameras live all at once or I can make a particular camera full view if needed. I can also view the playback of any day and time for all cameras or just one particular camera. I have the DVR set to record by motion detection and it has a setting to determine how long before the motion and how long after the motion to record. You can also select the sensitivity of the motion which is helpful since the cameras are very sensitive on the high setting and will trigger the motion detection with just the slightest motion. The DVR works in conjunction with the cloud and mobile app and not only stores the recordings locally on the DVR but on the cloud as well. This is a great feature that offers a backup of the data and is something I recommend you look for in any system you might be interested in. I leave the cameras on all the time, even while driving the RV. This can be useful in a couple of ways. I can have the video as evidence in case I need to prove what happened in an accident, and I can view the cameras live while driving to view any tight areas I need to negotiate with the RV. Also I can use the cameras in conjunction with the factory installed backup camera to help while backing the RV into a tight spot. Now let's take a look at the app and the remote viewing features. I have the system set up to send me notifications based on the motion detection so as soon as there is motion detected I receive a notification on my phone and can view the recording or have a live view as well. I can also manually check the cameras at any time as well as look through the recordings of any of the cameras. Now let's take a closer look at the D-Link Wi-Fi camera. Really the only reason I used this camera was because I already owned it and had used it in my house to check on Kixie while I was away. I could have just added an additional Night Owl camera since the system allows up to eight cameras and I'm only using four on the exterior. But since I had the D-Link, I decided to use it for the interior instead. The D-Link camera also has motion detection, local recording, cloud recording, and remote viewing using the D-Link app. It also allows me to move the camera remotely from the app which is great to look around and zoom in on the RV interior while we're away to check on Kixie and to check the temperature. Both of these systems not only record video but audio as well. It's nice to not only have the video but to be able to hear what is going on or anything that was said nearby the RV on live viewing as well as on the recorded clips. Take this clip for example. There was a child that came up to our RV looking at a stray cat that was under the RV and you can hear him calling out to the cat. We use both of these systems to monitor our RV's exterior and interior while we go explore and they provide a little more peace of mind as we can check in at any time and get notifications of any movement that triggers the cameras. Don't forget to subscribe, 
click that like button, share this video, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. See you next time.